the lower mold. So this is a oil on panel board, artist board by L.M. Garlia. Luigi Maria Garlia, Garlia, G-A-L-E-A. -A. He doesn't always sign them, usually does. He doesn't always use the M, he usually does use the M. So usually it is L.M. Garlia in either corner. Sometimes I'll use a black ink, sometimes I'll use a red ink paint, sorry. Uh, and he does a lot of these Belletta scenes and some of them are sold in pairs as Dusk and Dawn, Moonlight or Daytime, and they often uh, feature the, the, the lookout towers, the, the vedettes, Gagliola towers. And this one shows an unusual scene from outside the harbour, looking straight at the letter from out of, out of sea. It shows Elmo, Angelo, Lucasoli, Manuel, the Anglican church without the Carmelite church next to it, and it shows local boats, these are not Italian boats or Tunisian boats, they're distinctively Maltese boats. They have these slots in the side, these panels that lift out so they can get the nets in. Um, that is a net hanging off the side. Uh, these, these boats are going out and coming in. Uh, they're, they're fishing boats and they're well crewed with lots of fishermen, probably more than there would be in real life, I imagine. Um, the boats, the, the, the painting features seagulls, a characteristic sea, these lovely dusty grey pinks, which I, which I was going on about, a big sky. So it's quite a big one, not the biggest, but it's quite a big one. Of the ones I've seen for sale in Malta in the last few years, it's, it's probably the biggest one I've seen, and in England as well. So we've had it framed in this antique style frame. It's not an antique frame, it's a new frame, but it's aimed at how uh, uh, sort of someone in Malta wants a clean, a clean item. And because it's such a nice one, we, we decided to spend some money on the frame and uh, we put in this double aspect mount, which some people will like, some people won't like. The idea is the buyer can, show, can be shown by me the, the, the rear of the panel. So we've got a reproduction label, a copy of one of his labels, and we have got the original stamp on the board itself and it shows the address in the letter where he had a gallery or his at least his stuff was being sold from Ellen Garlia artist Strada something Valletta this label says Ellen Garlia uh, I can't read it my glasses aren't on and this is stuck on this piece of glass so you can see the whole back of this lovely picture the benefit being if it's put in an ordinary mount you lose some of the edge and often with him you'll find his signatures are, are obscured which is really unpleasant and in fact in England because so many of these are in, in England because the glass often shakes around often the signature is scratched and incomplete so it's a lovely old picture it's a big one unusual scene it's an unrestored condition but it's in quite good condition it's in a new frame with a colourful mount and it's for sale in Malta uh, the Garlia, Alan Garlias are always popular and as I say sometimes they come in pairs, more often than not, more, more, more often than not they don't come in pairs. I think they're going to stay quite a, a sound investment and I think the, the likelihood is they will, they will continue to rise nicely. Thanks for looking.